what is going on today people today we are going to replace the alternator and a 2004 Toyota Corolla I got the new alternator right here and we're going to throw that in so uh, stay with us so that we can show you how to replace this alternator and let's do it right now Now, to get this old alternator off, you need a couple of things. You need a new alternator, of course. And uh, you need a breaker bar. And I got a couple of tools down here. I have a 10 millimeter. I have another 10 millimeter. I have a 8 millimeter. I have a 14 millimeter. I have a 12 millimeter and I have a 19 millimeter. So, before we do anything, we're gonna take this cover off right here. So let's do that first. And these are 10 millimeters. So we're gonna take those two off. Let's do it. Alright, now that we got that cover off, it'll give us just a little more space as we working right here. Not too much, but just a little more space as we working right here. Now, if you really want to go um, super crazy with the space, you can also disconnect this, which is so slippery. I don't even know if I can get it disconnected. Uh, I'll leave it there because it's so slippery to get off. But you can also disconnect that to give you a little more space. Uh, now what we're going to do is disconnect this right here. Disconnect this right here plug and disconnect this. And this is a 10 millimeter as well. So we'll disconnect all of those. Let's do that right now. Now y'all know to always disconnect your battery before you do this job, but you know that's 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 elementary, so I didn't bring that up. Now when it comes to this right here, it's a little it's a little you gotta push the little plastic piece on this side, and it should slide right out. Push it hard though, and it'll slide right on right on out. And then you got this bottom piece, same thing. You gotta kinda, let me get a, a flat here for that. Oh, 
why this thing act like that. we got going on here. The shoes just pop right out. Alright. So now I took the fan bit, I took the fan off so that we can get a little more space under there. But I'm finna just take this whole piece off right here. Y'all can see that? Let me see if y'all can see that. This whole piece right here. I'm just gonna take that whole piece off. And then we're gonna go from there. This whole piece. pieces off because it need to come off anyway. So what's going on here? Hmm. I don't know why that was so hard. Wow, that was so hard but all right so we got off the piece do not lose this piece right here we need that for the next alternator all right so now that all of those are off yeah we're gonna disconnect this bottom one too so that we can give ourselves a little more space we'll disconnect this bottom one too but it's real easy just pull the pin on that one and that's good to go Give ourselves all the space right here to play with. I guess we can disconnect this one too once once it wanna cooperate. Let me see here. So if that one will cooperate. Seem like it want to cooperate. Right, but we'll, we'll leave that one there for right now. I don't know why a lot of these pins don't want to cooperate. I, mean, I know they've been in there a long time, but good lord. Like, don't act up on me now. Oh, there it go. It cooperated, y'all. Y'all see that? It came off. So let, let me go back. All right, so we got all of these off. Now we can get to the alternator. Now we have to focus on loosening this serpentine belt. And that's right there, as y'all can see it. Show y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all what we got going on. Uh, y'all see it right there? Come on, light. There it go. This right here is a 19 millimeter. That's what's going to loosen the serpentine belt. Let's go ahead and get that off. Okay, Y'all see that? Yeah, it's right there. Let's get that off. Now I got a 19 millimeter and a breaker ball. So let's see what we can do. Mm. 
Mm. Oh snap, one sec. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Let's do this. Now y'all make sure y'all try not to try not to get the uh serpentine belt too messed up because y'all know how hard it is when you're trying to um I know how hard it is when you're trying to put the serpentine belt back on. And it's done. It is done. I'll, I'll leave that just like that. I won't even touch it. Alright, now we gotta take these two bolts off. We're gonna start with this one right here. Matter of fact, I'll start with the bottom one. Show y'all where the bottom one is at. Y'all see the bottom one right there? Y'all see it? It's right there. We're gonna take that one off. And that's the 12 millimeter. So let's take that bottom one off. Sorry that this visibility kind of bad with this right here in the way, but that's what we're gonna take off. My bad. Not the 12, the 14. What am I thinking? Yeah, that's the 14 millimeter. I'm sorry. go. I can try to get it with my hand. <clears throat> Wish y'all could see a little, a little more, but yeah, I, I just broke it with the 14. Now it's, it's coming, it's coming right loose now. Oh yeah, it's coming loose. I probably do it with my regular hand here. Oh yeah, it's coming right off with my regular hand. That's perfect. And that's the 14 millimeter. Try to mess, try to make sure that y'all go easy though, so y'all won't mess up the serpentine belt. And there go that one right there. Let me put this serpentine belt back, cause the serpentine belt is starting to want to come loose, and we ain't having that. We're gonna keep that serpentine belt just like it was. There you go, keep it just like it was. We ain't doing that mess today. No sir, re Bob. All right, now we got to do this top one. Y'all, y'all see it? That one right there. Let's do that one. Oh. There we go. All right, get this breaker bar. Let me scale it back. Oh. Get it back for y'all a little bit. There you go. It's on there. Get this breaker bar. What the hell? There you go. All right. All right. That's it. That is it, y'all.
That's it. Uh, now let's try to get this. This it should come right off, but we shall see. Said the blind man. And it is not coming right off, even though it should. There we go. There we go. We're gonna come this way with it. Alright. Alright y'all. We got the old one out. Alright. First thing we're going to do is see this right here? We're going to put this little bracket back on right here. Just like that. Very first time we're gonna do that bracket right back on. Make sure it's you know nice and tight, but don't strip nothing. Yeah, it's nice and tight. No stripping. Alright, now we open this up. Bam. That's good to go. Hey, now we set. Let's go ahead and stick this puppy back on in there. So y'all put it in there just like you got it out. Mm. All right. It is there, y'all. All right, so let me go ahead and put that bottom, that bottom boat in, so that that can be the main catalyst for it. We're gonna put that bottom boat in. Sometimes things want to act up, but just be patient with it. You'll get it. Mm. Yeah, just be patient with it. You'll get it. No problem. y'all so I got the bottom boat back in as y'all can see y'all can see that bottom boat right there I got the bottom boat back in now I got to do this one right here it'll be real real easy so let's slip that one in and then that's basically it y'all then you just got to do a whole bunch of plug-ins but let me go ahead and slip this one in slip that in and you can, you know, you can do it until you do it hand tight as much as you, uh, much as you possibly can. You can do it hand tight, and it's it's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. Oh, snizz out. 
Alright, now that was the 12 millimeter, I believe. If I'm not getting too old to forget to remember, I believe that was the 12 millimeter. Let's let's check it out and see. If I ain't crazy, I ain't crazy. It was the 12 millimeter. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, my camera falling, y'all. But y'all can still see from the side. Like a Disney ride. Y'all y'all owe me extra money for that. Alright, there you go. Mm. Alright, y'all. I'm almost done tightening that up. I'm gonna do this serpentine belt. And then that is that is it, y'all. We good to go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's oh yeah, that's it. Alright, now let's do this serpentine belt. And oh it's a serpentine belt right here, y'all. Y'all see I already got it still plugged in. So all I got to do now is gonna get my breaker bar, pull that thing back, pull that thing back with my breaker bar, and put this put the belt back on it, and we good to go. So always remember, y'all, try y'all best to keep that belt exactly like it was, cause it's much easier to do it that way. All right, let's do it. And, almost there. Bam! The belt is on. And that's all she, that's all she wrote, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all check out this belt. Boom, the belt is on, new alternator on, and we are good to go. So, it's not that hard to do, it's just tedious. So y'all make sure that y'all do it right, make sure you don't lose nothing. And uh, make sure you keep your Toyota forever. All right? Y'all subscribe, like, comment. See y'all in the next video. Peace.